So it's been about five years since we did our remodel. We've had two little kids <laughs> and it's very well lived in. So we just wanted to go through and do a little overview of what we did and also some like pros and cons of what we did and things that we wish we did, things that we love. I'll just walk you through. So walking in, we absolutely love this. We love cooking right across, you know, where the stove is and being able to look out the front door. I love that, would 100% do that again. Uh, the only issue is we had to get, there was like a structural beam up there. So we did have to spend more money in order for them to elect, um, do this the right way. Uh, but I would 100% do it again before this was all closed off right here. You had to walk all the way around to get to the kitchen. This was a little linen closet. I do miss the storage that we used to have. So we did have to get some, you know, bathroom storage, just get a little more creative about storage. Um, we absolutely love our very well lived in kitchen. <laughs> Love the appliances we picked. They are all uh, kitchen aid. Well, not all. The kit, the refrigerator, and the stove are kitchen aid. Um, I will link below the hood that we got. It's excellent. We don't have to clean it too much. It works. So well and then we have a Bosch dishwasher love it um, I mean I guess it doesn't like I don't know if I would get it again to be honest they don't really some initially we were having like clean issues and then we changed the detergent and that seems to work better but I don't I can't say I love the dishwasher it's quiet which is nice we have a nice sink. Again, I'll try to link everything below. Um, I like the looks of this. It's not like the most high powered or like, you know, the water doesn't come through that fast, which is kind of annoying. I do love this extra space we've gained. Um, we like having the big table just well, like with the pandemic and everything, we haven't had friends and family over, but it's a nice space. I do wish we like bumped out somehow to make this like a living TV area as well, but you know, there's always the future. Lots of kids stuff everywhere. <laughs> Let's run upstairs quick. All right, we're upstairs. One thing we did, this was a nursery and now he's a big five-year-old. We did change out his shower and now we have a bathtub. 100% recommend that. <laughs> if you have kids, you need a bathtub, right? This room's great. Closet's a little small, but you know, eventually we could figure something out but it works well for him and his size now I just think he'll grow out of it soon but we'll manage maybe we could put something here or you know on that wall a larger closet my little office area works well this is our master suite I love it awesome closet space for both of us we have our bathroom here love it I love the two sinks the you know appliances the tile the stone everything has really held out well we got all the plumbing fixtures here from Ferguson Ferguson's I think it's called uh, See. Bath or our bedroom is awesome.
Lots of space. Hello. And then we'll run downstairs real quick. We do have two bedrooms here. I'm not really showing them because we didn't do anything with them during the remodel. It's a nice guest room, a little girl's room, and then downstairs. Again, we didn't really touch this area. It's just very well lived in, little workout area, entertainment area. Uh, this was all redone, love it. It's like a little mud room kind of down here. We just put all our dirty shoes. It's right near the laundry room. Love the laundry room. So we did recently add a lot of storage. this room was added as well. So this room is just right below where the kitchen table was and then right below our master suite. So square footage wise, this is technically all we've gained, like a 16 by 16 room um, below the kitchen and above the kitchen. But really it's been awesome having this area for the kids during the pandemic. My husband has his office set up here um, it's great. The kids can just go right outside those doors, right to the backyard. Eventually, we would like to redo this patio and level it out. Maybe redo our deck one day. We did get a new shed. I'll show that. We've done a lot of projects during all this COVID pandemic. One of them, right before the pandemic hit, we did the shed, the play area for the kids. But overall, so overall, we're, we're really happy with all that we did. I think we had an awesome architect and builder. They worked so well together. I would 100% use them again. They're just local in our area. Uh, I think our builder might have retired, so that's unfortunate, but he was the best. Uh, again, I don't think we would have done anything different. I mean, we could, there's we could, gained a lot of space, which is exactly what we needed, and um, we could still do some more work in the future. I, I already have some ideas. So we'll see what happens in the future. But thank you again. I'm like shocked how many people actually watched these Cape Cod remodel videos and asked questions. So if, if you watch this, um, yeah. please let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them. Um, thank you guys very much for watching. She wants to say bye. <laughs> you say bye? I don't know. You don't want to. Okay, thanks for watching.